therefore we ought to receive such, that we may be laborers of the truth. I have written to the church, but Diodrophes, who seeks to have among them the primacy, does not receive us. Therefore, if I go, I will bring to remembrance the works which he does, uttering malicious words against us. And not content with it, does not receive the brethren, and hinder those who would receive them, and cast them out of the church. Beloved, do not follow evil, but good. Whoever does good is God's. But he that doth evil hath not seen God. Paul testify to Demetrius, even to the same truth. And we also witness. And ye know that our testimony is true. I had a lot to write, but I do not want to write you in ink and pity. But I hope to see you briefly, and we will speak face to face. Peace be with you. Friends greet you. Greets friends by name. 3 John 1 1-15 Dear brothers, John is the apostle of love. And John in all his epistles, he gave prominence to the concern to keep the children of the church, which John had conquered, to keep them in the church, living as a citizen of heaven must live. Then John had conquered, to keep them in the church, living as a citizen of heaven must live, them, John clarified very well the need for Christians to remain in the truth, and not to stray into the path of salvation, either to the right or to the left. Here. In this third epistle, John is speaking of three characters. The first, he gives an adjective to his name, calling him beloved Gaio, John said that he wished that he would be well in all that he did, and that John had already heard, by other people, the life that Gaius took. That he lived according to the doctrine which he had learned, and was careful with the things of God. And he loved the church, loved his brothers and loved God. And Gaius, preached the gospel to the Gentiles without financial interests, because, Gaius was not greedy. But he preached the gospel with love and dedication. However, John also spoke about the other character, called Diotrephes, who was a person of some prominence in the church, but did not receive the apostles. Diotrephes wanted to take them out of the church. And he spake evil of the apostles, with malicious words denigrating the image of the apostles. And John, looking at Diotrephes, asks the church not to do what the Diotrephes did. For whoever does evil does not know God. John also speaks of another character, Demetrius. Paul testified about Demetrius, because Demetrius was also an apostle, and proceeded accordingly from the life of an apostle. He loved the brothers, the church, and loved God. Dear brothers, see how difficult the apostle's life was. There were those who supported, there were also those who made the opposition, and who would hinder, rather than help, but there was the church of God, was perfect, and the gospel perpetued, for making great leaders. Even today, as leaders, we face the same difficulties that the apostles faced, many support and help, and actively participate, but this happened to John, it happened to Paul, with Jesus Christ. And it is natural that today it continues to happen.